Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to another video. So sorry that I've been missing for a few weeks. I've had a personal project that I needed to focus on and also I most probably will be sticking to this frequency of uploads for a while because I will be quite busy at this time of the year. So please do expect around an upload for every 2 or 3 weeks. So yeah, also I haven't been able to play the game for a few days because for those of you who don't know, my home country Indonesia just blocked a bunch of apps and sites for some reason and one of those were Arjun and with it the sims. And I know that I was supposed to be able to play the game in offline mode but for some reason my game just doesn't want to operate so I've been off the game for a while too. So yeah, with that out of the way, today I'm going to be renovating the Pancake's house. It's not a huge renovation by any means, I didn't do anything to the exterior except aligning the windows a notch because they don't line up, and also adding a space for Iggy in the backyard. So my main reason for doing this renovation is to include a space for Iggy Pancakes, which for those of you who don't know is Eliza and Bob's child. He was added to the gallery on February 2nd, 2017 as an addition to the Pancakes family. So the Pancakes house is located in Willow Creek in the Peak Hearth lot, which is a 30 by 20 lot. This lot ended up with a total value of 140,608 simoleons and I did use a lot of CC so those will also be listed in the description below. So what we're seeing right now is the living room. So for the first floor, I really didn't do much. I did size down the stairs so it will only be one tile wide instead of three. And I managed to squeeze in a guest bathroom and also a laundry nook at the back. So this house ended up being three bedrooms and four bathrooms, which after I finished, I realized that that was a little bit too much. Now that I think of it, maybe I would have made Iggy and Bob share the shared bathroom upstairs instead of giving both Eliza and Bob an ensuite bathroom. But it still looks okay, even though Bob did have to sacrifice a bit of his space, but I think that's realistic. I mean, Bob and Eliza did have separate rooms and big ones at that, so when welcoming a new child, I think it makes sense for them to sacrifice a bit of their own rooms to fit Iggy, so yeah. Here I'm doing the laundry nook that I talked about earlier. It's nice that they have a mudroom like this so it can be repurposed like such. Also since I didn't do much on the first floor, I kept the layout for the furniture roughly the same. Maybe just some updates here and there, like as you can see in the living room, the layout of the furniture is almost exactly the same, just updated. Like let's just say that Bob and Eliza went to Ikea one day and just spent their monthly wage there. Now here's the guest bathroom that I talked about, it's 3 by 2 and it's perfect for a powder room, even that cabinet can actually be replaced by a shower so it can be a full bathroom but we already have enough of that upstairs. Now for the kitchen, since the room itself is actually huge, I wanted to put in a kitchen island to serve as a second breakfast area. Also I think it's kinda cute to imagine Bob making well pancakes and Eliza taking care of Iggy on the kitchen island. And I made this to match the color scheme of Eliza rather than Bob, even though I know that Bob's the one with the actual cooking skill, but it is widely believed in the Sims community that Eliza is the ambitious one that controls the relationship, so I think personally that Eliza will be taking over this part of the renovation to match her style. Also, I decided not to clutter the kitchen too much because I wanted to make it seem clean and tidy, but I did keep the tea brewing machine and the microwave that they had in the house originally. I also kept the stove and fridge since it's realistic and those two are actually really expensive. I also gave them some miscellaneous items like a knife rack, a spice rack, a chopping board, and also a new range hood. Okay, moving on to the dining room. Honestly, I didn't do much with the dining room. I think that it's already good as is. I only replaced some furnitures like the dining table and the dining chair, also matching the wallpaper with the living room, but other than that, I didn't do much with the dining room. Oh, but I did change the chandelier to pink because, you know, Eliza, and I also gave Iggy a high chair. Alright, moving on to the second floor. Now, this was hard to do. I spent so much time rearranging and redoing the floor plan for the second floor, and I ended up with a floor plan that is similar to the old one, but Bob's old bathroom ended up becoming Iggy's room, and part of Eliza's room becomes the shared bathroom. Now looking back at it, I definitely definitely should have not given Bob an ensuite. That shared bathroom was huge and it would have fit Bob's old shower and tub just fine, but I guess what's done is done. 
So here you can see that I'm jumping from room to room because I was conflicted whose room should I furnish first. If you're subscribed to me for a while, you might know that I pre-built all my builds so that when recording, I have a general direction as to which rooms to decorate first. But this renovation was really spontaneous because I simply didn't have enough time to pre-build the renovation. And so this is raw building, you guys. After putting beds and closets for Eliza and Bob, I ended up starting with Iggy's room. So I used this amazing wallpaper from Felix Andre's Colonial CC pack. I think that this is perfect for a kid's room. It's fun, the color is muted but elegant, and it blends in nicely with all the wood tones. I gave Iggy that play tent from Dream Home Decorator, which fills in the nook nicely. I also gave him this kind of dark wood and dark blue color scheme, which is kind of the default color scheme from the kids room pack, but it just works so well with a lot of the colors here. I also gave Iggy this huge bear rug, it's from Peacemaker and again it's perfect for a kids or toddlers bedroom or playroom. I also cluttered his room with a bunch of toys so it's more realistic and put in a blarfy inside of the play tent. Next, we're moving on to Bob's room. So, Bob initially had this big bedroom with some gym equipment and a computer. And with the limited space, I actually managed to give him all of the things from his old bedroom, but just a little bit elevated. I gave him this sick gaming setup, and I think that he would appreciate it. I also kept with the dark blue, dark wood, and black color scheme, and the combination of industrial and also modern for his bedroom. For Bob's ensuite bathroom, he used to have this kind of ultra modern and sleek red and black shower and bathtub, which are also kind of expensive, so I made sure to reuse those. And another thing that I really liked in this bathroom is I managed to put in the Bob Pancakes painting. I don't know, it's just so funny to me, so I put it in, and it's funny because it actually matches with the color scheme of the bathroom, so it works. Okay, next is Eliza's room. So for Eliza, the only thing that stuck out to me from her old room was that she has this pinkish color scheme going on and that she has a sort of reading nook in her room. So I tried to incorporate that and going a little bit overboard with the pinks, but I still think it looks good. I gave her this floral bed and the other furnitures are kind of white or off-white so it matches with the pink. I also gave her a pink rug, a lot of plants, specifically ones with flowers so it matches the floral print on the bed. I also ended up giving her a makeup tray up on the dresser with a big uniquely shaped mirror. Also a bunch of paintings to fill in the empty walls. Now even though this room might seem like a teenager's room, I think it fits Eliza's quite nicely. So for Eliza's ensuite bathroom, it's not as interesting as her bedroom, but I did give her a pink and white shower top combo to pull in that color scheme from the bedroom. I also decided not to clutter the bathroom too much here. Maybe I'm just tired of editing long videos with me taking 20 minutes just to clutter rooms, so yeah. So for the last part of the renovation, I just expanded the backyard a bit to fit in some stuff for Iggy like a swing set and the monkey bars, also adding in some landscaping to match the old yard. And I guess that's it. After this, we will be moving on to the screenshots and as always, what do you guys think of the build? This build will be on The Sims 4 Gallery. My ID is LouisRP7 and that is L-O-U-I-S-R-P-7. And what do you guys think I should build next time? Leave it down in the comments below if you have any ideas and don't forget to like the video, share it, and hit the subscribe button. I post my videos on Fridays for maybe every two weeks from now and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!